Now, if you want to sneak some learning into the fun your kids will be having over the break, look to STEM. It stands for science, technology, engineering, math. And here with a roundup of STEM learning for all ages is Lisa. This is her jam. <laughs> Always has been. It it's also my dad's jam as yeah. an engineer. He really wanted us to get into it. So my guess is you're all about the T for technology. I am. And the reason for that is because a lot like you, T, we grew up in the digital revolution. We saw yes. the birth of computers, cell phones, the internet. Mm -hmm. So when it came to really understanding how technology can be ingrained into our lives in a really e efficient way, yeah. I definitely loved learning more about it. But today we're going to talk a lot about science, tech, engineering, and math, and mm -hmm. why it's so important. Now let's just think about this stat for a second. 90% mm -hmm. of all jobs in the next five to 10 years are going to require some type of STEM training. Mm. So as parents, especially raising the future generation, yeah. it's really important that we encourage our kids to understand these concepts and to love it. But it's easy to do it. Why? Because they're fun to learn. And that's what we're going to talk all about. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's never too early or never too late to start understanding STEM, even for ourselves as adults. And you say never too early. You mean like babies. Yes. You can start with the babies. So let's start there. All right. So let's start with the babies. And let's think about babies in general and what they're born with. They're born yeah. with this natural curiosity, especially when it comes to tearing things down, <laughs> right? Busting it down and yeah. building it back up. So they're always looking for the problem and then finding the solution. Right. And so if you think about that, that is exactly what STEM is all about. Mm -hmm. It's about finding the solution and always trying new things. So when it comes to bringing STEM toys into your house, I'm going to recommend you bring great things like these building blocks, for example. They're different than anything we've seen, yeah. sort of chevron pattern, nice and bright. And you can really challenge yourself to build different things that perhaps you've never seen before. In addition, getting great books into the house mm -hmm. and reading to the babies, introducing science, engineering concepts, math fun as well and getting tools into our kids hand especially when it comes to gender neutral toys oh, so I like just this look one. at that isn't that cute oh they work together they do so you can do some construction yeah this is how good i am with the drill in real life too by the way reverse trace reverse oh reverse it. reverse yeah, okay got go. it yeah very cute but this is good for their little their little chubby fingers exactly. they can handle it the, the toys are like they're big they can grasp them it's good for their grip Definitely. i love that we think STEM, and I think we sometimes feel like, ooh, that's up here. Yeah. It's not up here. It's everyday life. Absolutely. It's everyday life is STEM. Let's talk about when they get a bit older, like seven years old. You say that is a specific time. Yes. Very specific and very important. Okay. Specifically for the girls. Yeah. Have you heard of the dream gap? No. Okay. So the dream gap is a phenomenon which proves the fact that girls start to lose their interest in STEM-related concepts between mm -hmm. the age of six and seven. Hmm. And so if you think about that, ask yourself why. We're sort of exposed to gender-biased toys, mm. gender-biased media, gender-biased entertainment. Mm -hmm. There's all different kinds of messaging in the world that are teaching girls that it's more important to be perfect mm -hmm. than to play with finding a problem, trial and error, mm. finding their own solution, and then owning their voice. Perfect and pretty. Exactly. They're told to be pretty. That We start telling babies really, oh, she's so cute, she's so pretty, and we tell boys, they're so smart, you're so strong. Exactly. So these are, this, is, this is the messaging that that takes us down the wrong road. You hit the nail on the head. Mm -hmm. And so once again, I really want to hone in on the fact that we need to encourage our girls, empower our girls mm -hmm. to know that they can be and do anything that they want. Mm -hmm. So I want to call out Mastermind Toys for a second. The, the entire curation today is from Mastermind. But what I love is the fact that we have uh, these incredible building blocks. So right here you have sustainable building blocks made mm -hmm. from recyclable material. We also have, they're compatible with the regular building blocks that you see out on the market. Mm -hmm. We also have a ton of different um, activities that you can bring into the house. Hydraulic based uh, activity sets. You can play with snap circuits as well. All different pre-made kits. Um, exposing them to science also. So there's all kinds of different curated toys that you can choose from. Now when it comes to math, Trace, how are you with math? You know, I might need a refresher. <laughs> okay, well with me, 
You talk to me about math, and I go running for the hills. Okay. But, yeah, I'm with you. Let's hold hands and run together. Okay, we will. <laughs> as long as it's not downhill, right? right. Now, we also have uh, all different kinds of math it games can be and fun. toys. And this is the whole concept is to make it fun yeah. for our kids. Love that. We want to talk a little bit about coding as well. Yes. Right? So coding, I think people hear coding and they're like, oh my gosh, that is so advanced. Coding is everything. Your kids know how to code. Absolutely. If your kids are playing Mastermind or Roblox, yeah. if they're playing anything gaming related. Yeah, Minecraft. They, exactly. Right? They are already yeah. coding. And I yeah. really want to talk about the fact that coding is the language of the future. It mm -hmm. truly is. So when it comes to different types of apps, we have all kinds of apps available on the App Store that are great for kids. Code Smart Academy is a great one. Yeah. Uh, we also have Mini Sago, great for the preschoolers. But we also have kits like Osmo, once again, that can work great with your tablet or your iPad mm -hmm. and get the kids into coding their own games. Really, it is a game and it's so super fun yeah. for the parents and the kids. I think it's awesome. Once you get them into it, because both my kids went through coding like camps and classes and what have you, and they can you can code and draw pictures and stuff. Yeah. It's everything. It's in art, design, fashion, the whole nine. So Lisa, thank you so much. Uh, for, find more info on the STEM learning products she just shared on CityLine.com.